Hi everyone, welcome back to the Veggitastic Mum Kitchen. I hope you're all well. On today's video, we are going to be making a gorgeous, hearty vegetable hot pot. So let's go take a look at what we need. So for today's recipe, you're going to need one large onion cut into cubes, two large parsnips also cut into cubes, half a large swede cut into cubes and four large carrots and yes you guessed it cut into cubes four tablespoons of pearl barley we're going to be using two vegetable stock pots with 750 milliliters of boiling water salt and pepper and under this foil, I have already prepared six large potatoes that I have sliced into just less than centimetre width slices. And before you start, if you do your potatoes first, slice them up, pour boiling water over them, put some tin foil on the top and just leave them to one side until we're ready for them. To start with, I have added 700ml of boiling water to our two stock cubes, just so that our stock water is ready when we need it. So we'll just pop that to one side. Now on your stove top, obviously I'm using my induction hob, we're going to need a pan. And we're going to start by popping a good drizzle of olive oil in the bottom of our pan. And you want this just on a medium heat. So on the induction hob, I'm going to pop it on number six. Then we're going to add our onions to the pan. And pop in a pinch of salt. And we just want to soften these so I'm going to wait for these to the pan to heat up so the oil's hot now and we just want to start start to soften our onions I'm just going to give them a stir around make sure they're all coated in some oil I'm going to pop the lid on and just give those two to three minutes just to soften down. Okay. Here's the stir. They're nice and soft now. And then we're going to add the rest of our veg. We're also going to add some more salt and pepper. Give those a good stir. And again, we're going to pop the lid on these and allow these to soften on a medium heat for about five minutes. As all this is softening down, just lift your lid and make sure you give it a few stirs every few minutes. So these have been softening now for 10 minutes. Just give them another stir. 
And then at this point, we are going to add in our pearl barley. And all of our stock. Give all that a stir and we're going to pop the lid on this again staying on the medium heat and we're going to leave that to simmer down gently for 20 minutes so this has been bubbling away for 20 minutes oh it smells so good give it a good good stir And that's perfect. I'm going to turn that off now. As you can see, there's still some fluid in there, but that's what we want. We don't want it, you know, we don't want it dried up. So let's just pop this off the heat to one side for a moment. And at this point, we're going to want our potatoes that we've had going soft in this boiling water. So I'm just going to drain these off and then we're going to put the hot pot together. And just before we start making everything up, I just want to taste this and just make sure it doesn't need any extra salt or pepper. Hi, ah, it's very hot. That's really good. I don't think it needs anything else. So, I am using my lovely little trusty tin that has the handle on. I've drained our potatoes off. And all we're going to do is just spray some olive oil spray into our, the dish. Whatever dish you choose is fine. And we're going to take some of our hot pot mixture. Pop it in there. Flatten it down just a little bit. And then using your potatoes, you're going to layer potatoes around the bottom. Then we're going to add a little bit of salt and some pepper. And then another layer of our vegetable hot pot mixture. More potato. And you just keep doing this and building it up. <clears throat> there we go and lastly our last bit of hot pot mix spread that over and you are going to top this with more potatoes just move these out of the way and do a good layer of potato all around the top with your softened potatoes. Just need a little one right in there. That's it. Okay, they're not going to go to waste. I'm going to do another recipe for you with those. So I'll put those to one side. And then again, on the top, some salt, pepper. And just to top this off, which I didn't include in the ingredients at the beginning, because I'm a Wally and I forgot. But we are just going to pop a few thin knobs of butter over the top 
of our potato. And that is just going to give the potatoes a lovely golden and crisp top on them. There we go. Okay. And we're going to pop this in the air fryer now. So we're using the Kasori today. And we're going to pop this onto a liner in the Kasori just in case it bubbles over. And we're going to cook this on 180 for 20 minutes and then we'll come back and see how it looks so this has just finished oh it's all bubbling away and looks absolutely amazing so let's get some of this out on a plate for a taste test so this has finished. I have plated some up. It smells really, really good. So we're gonna taste it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can't wait. This is a new one for me as well, so. Here we go. Mmm. Oh wow. So you know what really surprises me is the amazing flavours you get from something like this that's literally only got salt, pepper and vegetable stock in it. The flavours are amazing. It's not bland. It's really, really good. Mm. I really, 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 really like this. And pearl barley is a new one for me as well. I have had pearl barley before, but I've never cooked with pearl barley. And it doesn't particularly taste of anything, but it bulks out the food and just gives it that extra something. I'm not sure what it is, but it's very nice. Mm. It's lovely. So I am not the only one that's going to try this this evening while I'm doing this video. Gary's uncle, Chris, he is here for dinner. Um, so I thought it would be nice to get him in here to try some of this as well. So. I'll go fetch him and bring him back. Let's just hope he behaves himself. Okay, so Chris is here, so I'll get him in now and he can test it for you. So come on then, behave yourself. Oh, my mi my millions of viewers are watching me. Millions, millions, millions. What's in this? Have you, you told anyone already, have you? you know, everyone else knows. Oh, okay. So I'll just sample it, shall yes, I? Yes, please. And then I'll give you a nice big plateful for your dinner. Mm. Oh, it's lovely. Very, very nice. Now load the plate up. <laughs> like mm. it? Yeah, I do. Good. So that's finally got rid of Christopher. He's uh, now scoffing his face with his rather large plate full of dinner. Um, so thank you for watching. Please drop any comments below. I hope you give this one a go because it really is really, really good. And super simple. Carrots, parsnips, swede and onion. That's all that's in it. Oh, and the pearl barley. But vegetable wise, that's all you've got in it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take care for now. Bye.